WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update here with uh, Dave White at TFNN. And we've got pretty much what I was looking for today, and that was uh, my options call here. And that was the S&Ps were probably coming around to 388 on the spies. Uh, that's where I wanted to cover. We got uh, just short of that uh down to 378.89. Now, normally, uh, I'd be a much bigger player into Friday, but uh, tomorrow is options expiration, and generally not a big deal for me, except when it's quad witching. Now, other things going on, if you uh, just uh, tuned in, don't know what's going on, I'll give you an alternate uh, headline. The headline that they're pushing, or the narrative, is that uh, Powell's doing too much uh, too soon and his interest rates are too high. Um, I'll give you another one, and that is that uh, we've got a huge spending bill coming through. Uh, they're going to try to jam it through Saturday night when nobody's paying attention. That will add about $2 trillion to the national debt. Uh, that has spilled into gold because they're just assuming that uh, that's good for another percentage point higher from the Fed. Munger came out last night, uh, and of course, the, uh, the shadow of Warren Buffett, uh, predicting a much bigger recession because of it. Retail sales this morning fell six-tenths of a percent. Uh, we've been talking about on the show about going to stores and seeing uh, less stuff on the shelf, uh, a lot of people buying uh, down uh, uh, house brands, that kind of stuff at Walmart, uh, going to other places and not seeing a lot of traffic at least foot traffic, and seeing uh, Amazon kind of f floundering, too. Uh, other stocks uh, are starting to uh, at least do some pre-announcements. Roblox is down 18%, or was a little bit earlier, about an hour. Uh, we also have uh, Netflix down uh, uh, 10%. Uh, they're talking about uh, lower metrics. Uh, a lot of the uh, streaming services are going to have problems. Uh, most of the movie reviews for Christmas are out, and most of them are horrible. We'll talk about this and more in just a little bit. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the